good news for all the fans of Airlander 10, affectionately dubbed the Flying Bomb for its unique shape and size. After years of development, things are finally moving towards series production. Hybrid Air Vehicles or HAV has big plans and it looks like this time it's going full speed ahead. Airlander 10 is certainly not the only hybrid electric aircraft claiming to revolutionize commercial aviation, but it's one of the most popular. At 302 feet and boasting a payload of 22,000 pounds, this blimp-like air vehicle would be the largest aircraft in the world. Its story goes back to more than a decade ago, when it was allegedly designed for the US Army. The UK-based HAV, its original designer, decided to develop the concept into a real-life commercial passenger aircraft, but it's been a long and challenging road. After numerous changes and trials, Airlander 10's current base configuration is that of a conventional aircraft fitted with four combustion engines. However, it's claimed that they can reduce emissions by 75%, compared to similar air vehicles. A hybrid electric version will be developed starting 2026, to cut emissions even further, and culminate with an all-electric, zero-emissions giant aircraft that is set to enter service by the end of this decade. As HAV keeps working on the electric motors that will power the Airlander 10 in its upcoming greener configurations, the manufacturer reached a milestone in terms of production. A recent announcement states that a production line is being set up at a new location. The Airlander 10 was born at HAV's Bedford facility, but will apparently be built in South Yorkshire. There aren't many details available yet, but it seems that a new aerospace manufacturing cluster that's also green will be set up in this region. This will become the official home for the new Airlander 10 production line. HAV says that it plans to roll out no less than 12 units of its type certified aircraft per year. This is obviously a very important project for the region, which is why HAV isn't working alone, but together with the South Yorkshire Mayoral Combined Authority, the Doncaster Council, and even national stakeholders. Plus, the manufacturer is supported by partners such as the Advanced Manufacturing Research Center AMRC, at the University of Sheffield, and the Aviation Services Operator 2Xcel Aviation. The future Airlander 10 would offer a 4,000-mile range and lowered emission levels, coupled with low operational costs and minimal infrastructure requirements. It's been a long wait, but we might actually get to see the famous flying bomb in the sky in just a few years. Additional information about the new production site will be coming up in the next months.